I may have found something better than ChatDev. We've seen what ChatDev is actually able to accomplish with its communicative agents for software development. It's quite reputable and its proficiency in code generation as well as how it operates with multiple agents is quite remarkable. It's easy to use and it's highly customizable with its extendable framework. In fact, you should just watch my video on it after you complete watching this as it's something that you can implement in your daily basis. However, what if I am to tell you that there is an application that replicates the exact extendable framework as ChatDev but on the web? Introducing DeepSeek Coder. This is a coding application that you can access on the web as well as locally which lets the code write itself. The thing is with DeepSeek is that it's not revolving around other LMs, it's something that they have developed with its own fine-tuned model, which is pre-trained on 2 trillion tokens over more than 80 programming languages, which is quite remarkable. Now, it has various different model sizes, so it is basically accessible to any hardware. You have model sizes ranging from 1.3 billion all the way to 33 billion and it supports different requirements now there is a window size of 16k which supports project level code completion as well as in filling now it's open source so it allows you to be uh, accessing this for free for research purposes as well as for commercial use cases just take a look at this example where a snake game is being created within a couple of seconds from a single prompt off the web hosting. You then have the code generated and you can implement this into VS Code and have it hosted off your local host. Now this is something that can be done within a couple of seconds which is absolutely amazing. This is faster, it has its own fine tune model and it's something that you can access on the web. Now throughout today's video we're going to go a little bit more in depth on DeepSea Coder by taking a look at their model going a little bit more in depth on some of the capabilities of it as well as showcasing how you can access it so with that thought guys make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video and with that thought let's get straight into it Hi guys, if you were interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one call with me where I can help you install different AI applications, where I can help you with strategic planning and basically give you a solution with AI, definitely take a look at this link in the description below to the calendar page. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at The World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Deep Sea Coder, which lets the code write itself. Now, it offers a range of code language models that are trained on a mix of code and natural language, both in English and Chinese. Now, they're trained on both 87% code and 13% natural language with English and Chinese. Now, these models are pre-trained on a massive data set of 2 trillion tokens. They come in different sizes. We have the 1.3 billion, 5.7 billion, 6.7 billion, as well as the 33 billion. Now, the training process involves using a window size of 16K tokens and a fill in the blank task, which creates a foundational model known as DeepSeek Coder Base. Now, to enhance these base models, what they've done is that they've undergone a different fine tuning method with 2 billion tokens of instructional data. And this is to create an instruction tuned model that's called the DeepSeek Coder Instruct. Now, these are models that you can actually access right now off of Hugging Face. They have been fine tuned as well as released with base models and instruct models. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave these in the description below. This is a way for you to basically access it locally off of different like hosting bases like text generation web ui or you can basically just use lm studio which is something that i can showcase later on in the video and load up for you guys if you are interested in joining our private discord where you can access amazing subscriptions to ai tools for free for example we are releasing many different subscription tools to certain applications that can help you create chatbots, implement AI within your business, as well as many other methods of implementing AI. If you're interested in any sort of idea where you want to implement AI into different workflows or your daily life, I highly recommend that you check out our Patreon page because there's lots of content, lots of information, lots of subscriptions for free, as well as many other methods for you to have AI become a part of your life. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, I highly recommend that you subscribe, 
turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. With that thought, guys, let's get right back into the video. Now, let's just briefly go over the performance. We can see that they have a quite detailed evaluation on DC Coder. Now, it's been evaluated using various coding related benchmarks. This is something that we've seen with Code Llama as well as Star Coder. Now, these results basically indicate that their Deep Sea Coder based 33 billion model is something that outperforms existing open source code models. And when it's compared to Code Llama, which is the 34 billion parameter model, it surpasses it by 7.9 on human evaluation. Now, this is something that you can see more in depth by checking out their actual GitHub repo, which will give you a more detailed analysis on how it performs. But to give you a little bit more evaluation metrics, we can see that it surpasses Code Llama on Python functions by 9.3%, as well as for, for the multilingual purpose of evaluation, it has a 9.3% uh, increase compared to, uh, I believe, Code Llama. And another metric we can see is the MBPP, which is something that it was able to surpass Code Llama by 10.8%. Lastly, we have the DS1000, which was something that was able to outperform Code Llama by 5.9%. Now, surprisingly, we can see one great thing about this deep sea coder based Llama model, not Llama model, but the coder uh, 7 billion parameter model is that it was able to perform on par with Code Llama's 34 billion parameter model now this is quite surprising as this small model was able to pack a punch to code llama's 34 billion parameter model now this is quite remarkable as to how they fine-tune this so definitely take a look at this link in the description below so that you can get a better idea as to how it performs in different metrics we can see over here there is a good graph as to how it's able to perform in different areas as well as different programming languages in python javascript and etc these are basic evaluation metrics that compares all of these different open source models and we can see with instruction tuned models it is not able to surpass gpt4 obviously but we can see that it does a good job in basically packing a punch not just necessarily surpassing it but it's able to stay in relative close ranges with GPT-4 as well as with GPT-3.5. So how can you actually access DFC Coder? Well, there's two methods. You can definitely take a look at their cloud hosting, which is basically for alpha testing. This lets you do the basic coding needs, but in case that you want to install it locally, I'm going to be showcasing this. And first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have LM Studio. Now, LM Studio is an easy way for you to run any open source model. It's completely free. I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can use this tutorial on downloading it. It's fairly easy to install. But once you have LM Studio installed, you can easily just open it up by typing in LM Studio and opening it up. Now, it'll take a couple of seconds, but once I have this loaded up, what we'll do now is minimize this so that you guys can see it easier. Now, sorry about that. Now, what I want to do now is search up the model of Deep Sea Coder. Now, you can easily do this by typing in Deep Sea Coder into the search tab on the main page. Once you have that searched up, you're going to be able to source and find the model. In this case, I have not been able to find it, but once I have found it, I'll be right back. I'm sorry I had the tab on compatibility guess, but in this case, you can just select all models and you'll be able to find it right over here. Now they have the different model sizes, the 1.3 base model, as well as the instruct models for each model size. So download whatever model that you want to play around with. Most cases, you're going to install the 33 billion parameter instruct model, and you can basically go forward and install the model that you want to work with. There's different model sizes that require 30 GB of RAM for the 33 billion parameter model. In this case, if you're going to use the 1.3 base model, uh, it's not it might not work with the available files that are there. But if you're going to be using the, the 6.7 billion parameter model, you're going to be able to install it by clicking the download button over here. You simply just click download. And then once you get to the conversation tab on the left, uh, this is from a previous video. So let me just delete this out. But you're going to be able to create a new chat and you can select the model over here by loading it up on the top of the tab. This way you can start chatting and accessing the deep sea coder model like you can off the 
like the cloud it's the exact same thing but you're going to be having it hosted off your local desktop and hardware now that's as easy as that now i'll be showcasing and running some tests off the cloud so you can get a better idea as to what you can do with the deep sea coder cloud version so what i have done is that i asked it to create a snakes and ladder game with four players using python and it's been able to do it fairly fast and once i have finished in like the code generation i'll move forward and have it so that it can be deployable on a local host and i'll show you that in the next step all right so i have implemented the code and i am gonna start testing it out but just note that this was something that i kind of messed it up on my end and if i click play i'm gonna have it hosted with the pi game we can see over here we have this basic snakes and ladder game which does not really look like snakes and ladder i'm gonna try again and try to make sure that i can basically perfect this in a way so that it creates a proper game uh, not a proper full-on game but something that is not just scribbles on the screen all right to be fair this is somewhat better and they even stated that you can replace the backgrounds whatever image that you want and in other cases they also stated that uh please note that this information does not include many features that the real world uh snakes and ladder game would have such as like multiple records different types of dice and such abilities for certain spaces so it's basically an alpha as well so you can't really hope too much out of this but you can see that it creates something a basic basic like idea of a snakes and ladder game it doesn't have the functionalities but you can see that there's other games that were actually created from this and the purpose of this is not to create games it's for code completion this is just a benchmark for you to evaluate how good it is in terms of generating certain types of things such as code for a snakes and ladder game now i have created a breakout game in which you can have some functionality where you break the bricks now let me just tap on this so it works but <laughs> we can see it's a basic game that was created within a couple seconds now this might take someone an hour to create all the way to like 30 minutes obviously but it depends on your coding like proficiency but you can see you get the gist of it you're able to have code completion for games to implementing html as well as other concepts that relate to having some sort of configuration with code now that basically concludes my video on deep sea coder this is definitely something that you should definitely check out as it's open source and it has a lot of potential, which is something that brought my eyes to it. It's something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. But in conclusion, it's an amazing way for you to access as well as let the code write itself as they have promoted it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you check out the World Bay on Twitter if you guys haven't already. And definitely subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and see you guys fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.